I'll show you guys really quick what I got from Primark. So. It's almost 10 a.m. I slept really hard. Also, I've not been going to sleep too, too early here for some reason. I think it's mostly because, like, without Gil, it's, like, harder to entice me to go to sleep. Um, because I, like, I love falling asleep with him. So that definitely is a thing. Um, but I think I also needed it, too. It also looks like me and Alex had, like, a party here. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it looks very much like we had a party. I've got to vacuum all the cranberry that's on the ground and just like clean up a little bit. But uh, let me know if you're the same way in the comments. I typically, I'll like lightly clean before bed, but what I do um, sleep wise is, or rather cleaning wise, is I'll like leave most of the mess overnight. And then in the morning is like when I'm energized enough to do it. So I wanna know if you guys are the same. It's also really, really late today. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I also know that I have plans tomorrow really early in the morning. And today I might just clean a little bit, do some work, I have some editing to do. Um, and finally unpack my suitcase actually I just remember that's something I need to do finally unpack my suitcase and then maybe um, go for a bit of a walk it looks like it's a little bit nicer out there it's not by any means sunny but it's a little bit nicer anyways I'm gonna unwind check my phone I haven't even like looked at my phone yet which is good because I prefer not being on my phone right away <laughs> Um, but I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so slight change of plans, which I'm not sure if I'll do this yet. It's totally dependent on how I feel. But there's a pop-up shop in Boston that I think their first pop-up was in the summer when I was here previously called Hourglass Boston. And they have another, like, I think it's the second round right now. Um, and it, it actually closes in like three days. And I'm kind of considering going because I wanted to go last time. I just don't know if they would take photos of me. I'm sure that they would. I'm sure somebody would. And I wanted to check it out and just like go support them because they've been like really cool and like, at least to me. And I've always like, thought it looked really cool so and it also is an opportunity for me to get out of the house I know personally when I'm out during the day doing something and then I come back here I feel like better about it and I feel like I can relax more and then also ooh, that's a loud plane <laughs> and then also um it'll give me something to do tomorrow I know I have something to do but I know if I just kind of like sit around all day I'll feel like kind of blah so I think I might do that but before I do that I think I'm gonna deal with my suitcases and stuff and putting stuff away only thing that sucks is I don't know where any hangers are <laughs> I don't know I just I feel like I had some oops I feel like I had some extra here but apparently not because I don't see any <laughs> um so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to just fold a bunch of stuff and deal with that like later. But yeah, I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna do today. I just feel like doing it now that I like thought about it. And if I start getting ready soon, I can probably get there for like one ish. Uh, it's like 10:30 now. I could just have some breakfast and stuff and do all that good stuff and clean this all up and go. But I think that I think that might be what I do. We'll see. We'll see how I feel.
bags are, it's because I left so much here and I didn't realize I left this much here. I'm the worst. I'm gonna have to bring a bunch of these home with me because these are all like my good panties and I have a lot here. So that's where they all went, of course. So, I took a little bit of a nap, which seems to be a thing that I'm doing a lot here, but I also feel like I might be getting sick, so more naps the better. Hopefully it doesn't turn into anything worse than that. But as I promised myself and I kind of feel like doing, I'm making some chicken marsala that I got from um, Trader Joe's. Something smells like burning and it's really scaring me really scaring me. Hold on, let me just like go make sure it's not the heater because it's been off since yesterday. One second. So it's the stove. <laughs> yeah, that is 100% the stove. But it looks like fine in there. You know, sometimes stoves just do that is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so I don't freak myself out because I haven't used a stove in a while. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make myself this chicken marsala gonna go throw this stuff in the trash i had a salad for lunch well ish this is the chicken marsala i'm gonna make some broccoli and i think i'm gonna watch a christmas movie um in a little bit i'm like still half out of her from sleeping so my friend Haley messaged me saying she's sick which is like i'm gonna assume probably gonna mean her plans are like off for tomorrow which like i'm sad because i really wanted to see her and stuff but like just kind of happening like I realize like a lot of people are getting super sick so I'm trying to think of what I want to do tomorrow and depending on whether I get this video up early enough tomorrow give me your suggestions for things I should do in Boston like as an alone thing I mean just in general because not just tomorrow I'll be alone for a little while give me your suggestions for things I should do so I can plan um, and like do some fun things for myself. I was like looking on Facebook because Facebook sometimes shows you like events in the area and there was like one that, uh, on. there was one that looked kind of cool and it was like high tea and I was like, oh my God, that would be so nice. But it's $80 a person. I don't want to do something that's $80 because I'm bored. <laughs> You know, I want to do something that's like $30 because I'm bored. And then there's also the potential of the historic Freedom Trail, but they do like a holiday version of it. And I was like, that could be kind of cool. So I told myself I wasn't going to buy it today just in case tomorrow I wake up and not feel that great. Like I don't want to buy something and then just like let the money go to waste. So tomorrow, if I still feel fine and there is... Um, there are tickets left I'll just do that if not like I'm sure I'll figure something out maybe just like get dressed up and go somewhere so I have other friends I can hit up too but it seems like this time of year is hard because everyone's just like so busy um and I need that risk coming here maybe that freedom trail actually would be a good idea because I can like be in different areas of Boston and get to like know the history a little bit more since I don't do that as much as I would want to. Anyways, I'm going to boil the broccoli already. Just get that out of the way because broccoli doesn't need to be like piping hot when you eat it. And then this will be like another 20 minutes. My camera's going to die. So this might be me wrapping up the vlog for tonight since there's not much else that's going to go on. Um, TBQH. So, uh, broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Here we go. 
my god, I really want some of that eggnog. You know what? Christmas Day, I'm going to treat myself. Anyways, you guys, I'll see you either tomorrow or later today, depending on if I charge this. And, yeah. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday at 10.30 a.m. And I think because last night I didn't really do much, I'm just going to continue this vlog um, from yesterday. So I think this, this will definitely be the last time I do this um, for the entire Vlogmas for a few reasons. A, I slept in really late and I didn't mean to sleep in this late. Um, so I need to like kind of pump out the things I wanted to do in the morning faster because it is so beautiful outside right now. Like it's not a cloud in the sky and I just really need to go outside when it's like this. B, because I don't really feel well. I kind of have a headache. I think it's because I, my sleep schedule has been totally off. Um, so I don't really want to be looking at my computer today, to be entirely honest. Um, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of a break. But I think I'm going to go downtown Boston today, one way or another. Either I'm going to check out really quick on the computer to see if the tickets for the Freedom Trail are still available. And if not, I'm going to go to the Christmas tree market in the Seaport District and just like walk around and see what they have. And then maybe just walk around more and see what's in the area because I'm pretty sure Feniel Hall is like right there if I remember correctly. So just do a little bit of walking around. I would really like to do the holiday or the uh, holiday freedom trail walk because I think that could be good. It'll be me being outside for about two hours, getting a lot of sun sunshine and all that good stuff. I think it'll be really, really good for me. Um, I just have a little bit of a headache, like I said, from honestly, I think yesterday when I don't do much during the day, as much as I like love being lazy, hold on. As much as I like love being lazy from time to time, it's, I didn't do like much all day and uh, I think that gives me a headache unfortunately I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make myself some cereal and then I'm gonna take two Advil's I turned the heat off last night and it's a little cold in here it usually like when I start to freeze it's like 67 so 64 right now is pretty damn cold for my Canadian people, or rather people who use Celsius, that's 17 degrees. <laughs> Which is nice when you're outside and you have a light jacket on, but not when you've just woken up and all you have is your PJs. So, I don't know. Anyways, here's my breakfast. Looks delicious. Those cinnamon puffs. I'm going to watch a thing or two. No, I'm not going to let myself watch anything past 11. Um, cause then I'm going to go rinse off, start my makeup and figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay. My makeup is done. feel very good about the fact that that's all done now. And I'm gonna eat something before I go anywhere. It's one o'clock, definitely later than I want to be going out, but at least I know I have a couple of hours before the sun goes down and the tree market closes like six. So if I leave here, like two-ish I should be okay I'm watching Mile Higher podcast which is really good if you like like conspiracy theories and stuff I love conspiracy theories and all that and like true crime it's it's a good um podcast to watch and Kendall Ray used to like do plus size fashion and stuff but now she does her and her husband have this podcast anyways I'm gonna make one of the burritos that I got from Trader Joe's because I don't want to like I don't want to buy things, like buy food when like there's so much food at home and like I love this food so I get excited about eating it. But I don't know how late I'm going to stay out. I don't want to stay out any later than like five or six. Um, come back home and relax and all that because I still just don't feel good. Like I feel like I'm getting congested in my like nose. And it's like a little concerning, but I'm hoping that the fresh air and the sun will help. And at the very least, if I'm out for a few hours and just roaming around a little bit, that'll be helpful. I just know that if I stay in like this small little area that, sorry, I'm just putting my makeup and stuff away, that I, I'm not going to like, I don't know, I'm not going to feel like I did enough today. And if I had enough work to do, I might have just gone to the coffee shop. But like the whole goal of getting outside today is to 
be physically outside. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna make some food and then I'll probably just throw something on to go downtown, something warm, preferably, and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, I got my outfit on. I don't know if I love it as much as I thought I was. Like, the execution isn't quite the reality. So, this hat, which I also got for Alex. Um, I got it for myself too, because I really liked it. I don't typically wear hats like this though, but I figure it's a good way to hide the fact that I haven't washed my hair. <laughs> and then this top, which is like this just big oversized sweater that I got from Pink Blush. The pants are from, oh my God, why can't I remember? Fashion to Figure, which is gonna be coming up in a haul, as well as the boots. These are like legit over the knee boots. So that's the outfit. I don't like love it, but I also don't expect myself to do anything too crazy today because I'm still not feeling the greatest and I'd rather not overdo it in any capacity. I'm just like trying to decide if I like it or not. I mean, honestly, for the most part, I'm gonna have my coat on. So it's not like the outfit will really even be like shown, but uh, yeah. This is the look. It's cute for something different. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's just different from what I typically wear, but I wanna go in wearing something that's easy, and this is really easy, so why not? All right, so I made the decision to go to the Christmas tree market, or the tree market, I'm thinking Toronto, because I don't wanna do anything that's too much. Also, I'm wearing these shoes for the first time, and like, they're kind of slippery and they're kind of falling, so I want to make sure that um, I'm doing something that's not an incredibly large amount of walking, just in case. So I'm gonna do that, and then depending on how I feel, I might do other things too, but I don't know if my Uber's here. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. A friend was like, you look very 2000s, and I'm like, thanks. <laughs> These hats are in style, okay? They're in style. I might be a 31-year-old woman, but they're in style. Okay, so I'm back from my little excursion. It didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but it was good nonetheless. 
I, my main goal from going out was to be tired and to want to come back home and that is exactly what I did and oh that fell I knew that was gonna fall <laughs> um, yeah so it, it feels good to be back I'll show you guys really quick what I got from Primark even though it's not like I don't think it warrants like a haul haul because I didn't get any like clothing I was actually kind of disappointed with the stuff that was at Primark this time around like I feel like I've gone so many times and I'm just like throwing a bunch of stuff in my cart but this time around it was definitely not the case so I'm just not sure if it was like in between or I was just not feeling it in general I'm trying to put a box here so I can like prop this up one second okay I gotta kind of stand back here so you guys can see so um, they were really upselling the bags so I just got one of the reusable bags why not it can be used for groceries um so I got two of these guys. I already have one at home, but I wanted to get two for my couch at home just so I don't have to keep like going between the two and I can just put them in the living room and they're really comfy. They're also $2 each, which is a steal, or $2, $5 each, which is a steal. Then I got this beret, which you don't know if you don't know me. I mean, if you're watching my vlog, you probably do know a little bit about me and my obsession with berets. Last time, or not last time, but I was watching Alex's story there's either a story or a vlog or something where there was like an entire wall of like berets and every color beret you could think of and I was really hoping that that would be there but it wasn't and I just found this one and I have a dark I have a light gray so I figured I might as well get a dark gray as well then oops let me turn the Christmas tree on that's better more festive then I also got this hat it's really cute this one is like weirdly snug so I've already taken it off for a second and I have a line across my forehead this one sits like really like comfortable and I'm starting to like red and mustard together so that looks good I also got this hat for when it gets colder outside I picked up this top which is supposed to be a 2x and they mark it as a size 1820 I thought it was cute I don't really have a lot of purple, so I figured not, like, why not? I could probably just either wear this around the house or tuck it into a skirt or pants or something. It looked really cute. Um, and then I got this head wrap. You can see, just got like that tie detail. It's really cute. And this is four bucks, which is really, really good. I also got another one. I got a bunch of them, actually. This is the same sort of design or same sort of a uh, style, but then it's black with white polka dots. And then I got that in a reverse color combination. Pretty cute, pretty standard. I got a bunch of accessories as well. I mean, I think I mostly just bought accessories. This is a little scrunchy with some ties. I've been looking for something like this for a really, really long time. So I'm glad I found it for $4. Not so bad. And I only got one, there was a few, but that was the only one I really liked. And then I got some cheapy little ornaments for the tree. These were on sale for a dollar each. They're so cute. They're gonna look so good on the tree. I have like one gingerbread on the tree and I figured like, might as well get a few more, right? And then another head wrap, which apparently you can use in your hair, around your neck, or on a purse so they're more versatile. And these are actually cheaper too than three dollars picked up my face wipes which I really like these there was a another one I wanted to try too but she didn't notice until I had checked out and I was like eh, I'm not gonna like go again for two things for one thing I got these earrings actually I'll probably have to come or closer I got these earrings they're really cute kind of look a little bit like not Christmassy but wintry in my opinion I really like them hopefully I'm in the shot right now <laughs> closer to the next ones. That's it. So I got these. They're really cute. There was a pair of yellow ones, but I didn't like love the yellow ones. I almost bought it, but I was like, I don't know. I don't love them. I also got these, which look a little bit like cow print, um, but I'm kind of feeling it. This looks good with the fact that I have red hair now. I can wear black more easily. 
I also got these, which I have been wanting forever. I got them from Amazon originally, but they just like didn't show up. And then I found them at Primark and I was like, oh, you guys are coming home with me. And then these, which look very like cute and Christmassy. I was trying to find something that looked cute and Christmassy. They didn't have any like Christmas um, accessories, which was kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Anyways, I'm gonna go and get into some comfy clothes and also figure out what my dinner situation is because I don't really know. But I want to show you guys really quick. Uh, this is like my hat looks really cute, but then off. Not so cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna go deal with my hair and my forehead. All right, so I'm ending my night in the best way that I know possible, and that is taking a nice hot shower, which I've obviously already done. And I'm putting on a face mask for the first time in like months, definitely months. <laughs> I think the last time I put a face mask on um, was probably when I was here in the summer, if not, you know, September at the earliest. So. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog since this is two days combined and everything else from this point on is just watching some TV and zoning out and relaxing. But I definitely feel like this was a good choice. Tomorrow I'm really, really, really gonna push myself to get up early, at least earlier than I have been, um, get some videos recorded, and then go out to the coffee shop to get whatever work I have done because on Tuesday everything will be closed since it is Christmas Day and I think I'm seeing a friend that day but I'm not really sure yet. I understand that like Christmas Day is like really busy for a lot of people but I just know that if I'm out on Monday then being home all day on Tuesday shouldn't feel so bad. <laughs> I'm actually like really excited to just kind of spend the day um doing some things here and I'll probably just watch some Christmas movies. I have some things that I want to organize and all that good stuff so I'm feeling good about it um, and all that stuff. It's not like it would have been any different at home um, because all of my friends and stuff at home like have things to do on Christmas Day and my family doesn't celebrate Christmas so I would have still been alone if I were in Toronto, so <laughs> no difference. Um, and I'm really excited because when Gil comes back, which will be the 28th on the 29th, we're gonna do our makeup Christmas, which is always really nice. And he has like, he goes all out. He honestly goes all out when he comes back and I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. I will see you guys tomorrow. And then, oh my God, these are the last few days of Vlogmas. Can you even believe it? I might actually continue Vlogmas until at least Gil and I have our Christmas. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that or if you just are pretty much done with Vlogmas and you want me to wrap up. Um, but if not, I don't know. Just let me know. I'm going to wrap up anyways. I'm very, very tired. I just want to zone out and watch some things and I'll see you guys tomorrow.